Finally, after a week of waiting after the initial announcement, Kirby Dream Buffet is finally out on Nintendo Switch. I believe it released in Australia first, but as soon as it released in the Nintendo eShop, I purchased it. It was 15 bucks and I actually had some e-points that was available from previous port purchases and it actually cost me 11 bucks. So um, this is a hell of a steal because after playing Kirby for at least 45 hours straight, getting my cheeks clapped. Pause. I must say this is probably one of the best $15 that I've ever spent in video game. Welcome back to the arcade. Today we're going to be chatting about real quick about my first 45 hours, my first initial impressions of Kirby's Dream Buffet. Please lick that like button and subscribe to the channel if you like content like like this so i have a few snippets of my gameplay that i'll play over me talking and i've had an absolute blast first and foremost that they gave us a free roll playlist or a free roll section well let me take a step back when the game starts you have like an open lobby so it's not just like a title screen they have like an open waiting lobby which is amazing you have the free roam area you have the main area you have to collect your reward area which is like a like a store you have the, the things that you unlocked you even had a section for all the previous curves games we can go in and see all the kirby games that they have on switch right now that you can purchase i mean the way it lays out the way it feels whenever you're rolling around you can feel like the vibration they just they they nailed it they nailed it perfectly i mean just being able to roll around with kirby customize your kirby and just just have fun and eat everything in sight is absolutely insane i've been having a blast with the game i can't believe they held this so close to the chest because i don't know about you but i hadn't heard any of thing about this game up into the initial the initial trailer that was released last week and they just you know nintendo they're real quiet and traditional about things so they just popped it out and i couldn't wait to play it and so far i've been so impressed i mean literally i was playing it like at one like at 1 a.m in the morning up until now on and off now i've been playing on the normal difficulty and it is not a easy game i thought it was going to be a breeze and i've been getting my ass whooped i was able to get one victory i don't probably i don't know 20 30 games and i've been doing the grand prix i haven't touched the online portion yet because i wanted to see um how the game was before i jumped in online with some of the sweats and just playing the computer i've been having issues so i would imagine when i get online it's going to be even more difficult but man it is such a blast they have a great variation of, of the games that you can play each all the courses look beautiful it makes you hungry you just jump around it's pretty simple man you just try to get the most food eventually after you get a certain amount of food you get these power-ups where, where you can transform into the food you have a like tornado you have a like drill kind of jump into the ground you have all type of different forms you can make and you can customize your Kirby I mean and as you play I like the fact that it's not microtransaction heavy as for like oh I want the green Kirby let me just go buy it then, which that may come down the line but as of right now it's purely you have to play the game to unlock the next tier so, sort of like a battle pass but without the microtransactions you know the more you play the more points you get you start unlocking things or I unlock the uh, like a bandana I unlock the, the, the orange and red Kirby I'm trying to get the chocolate Kirby because that's the one that i really want i don't know what tier it is they keep it they keep it blacked out so you can't really see it you can kind of see what's next level but it's a mystery which to me i love that so now you're grinding for something that you don't know what's next but you know uh, potentially that the rewards gets better and better so and again i'm a kirby uh i'm a big kirby fan boy i love forgotten land i did a nintendo switch tier list video about a week ago please go watch that i'll leave at the end of this video and i'll leave a card here somewhere of the best games in 2021 2022 S tier, A tier, B tier, shit tier, you know, the entire thing. I work really hard in that video. It's a great video. And I would definitely suggest you go check that out. And but uh, but the point of me saying that is besides, you know, shameless plug, is I had Turby in my Turby. I had Kirby in my in my top tier, in my S tier, one of the top 10 best Nintendo Switch games you can play right now. And those are before this came out, obviously, but I would definitely put this as of right now, put this in the S tier top tier uh video game on Nintendo Switch. Um I really wish they would have did it free to play, but you know that's not Nintendo's way. The fact that it's not you know 40 or 50 bucks like some of the other triple a games are because i've honestly if this game could be a full price game and it would totally be worth it just off what i've played so far but like i said like the movements like i said you get i mean you have to get real sweaty man if you like competitive you can get real sweaty you know my damn thumbs start hurting after a while but again you know i'm a bit older so you know some of you young ones you shouldn't have any issues with that the only con that i <clears throat> 
The only con that I can think of that the only that was bugging me a bit that some of the game modes that they throw you in, you don't quite understand what's going on because they happen rapid. So you know, you finish one game and there's no like you know like on Mario Kart that you know you know they have like the view results and you can replay the game in slow motion like the highlight reel to give you a breather to get your shit together you know before the next game. And this you play a game you finish it it tells you who won boom next mini game boom next mini game boom next mini game so they don't really give you a lot of time to understand what's going on it's like oh this is strawberry sunday fallout go and you just kind of like you know i know at least me i was kind of like uh one game i was like rolling around and uh one guy turned into a porcupine and like i didn't know what the hell was going on then after i got my ass whooped, played it a few more times then i finally understood but i just think they could probably slow it down just a bit after a game an intense game to let you gather your thoughts and kind of maybe tell you what the directions are because it literally just drops you into the next game up until you get to the end where you got to jump in the big cake and um you know swivel the, your left stick around and try to eat it as much as you can and uh, you can get pretty big i think the biggest i got I, I don't have like a weight but i got really really big to the point like i was rolling slow son like i was at golden corral i was not stopping and uh it's just a good time man so my recommendation is you should absolutely spend 15 bucks or get 15 bucks or trade in a game that you don't play anymore at GameStop and go get this game. Um, I believe it has some really extreme potential for the long term, not just like a flash in the pan. A really good chance of competing with some of the top tier Nintendo or just games in general of competitive when it comes to like fun adventure competitive like Mario Kart games like that. Because if you jump online on this and they have like a ranking, it's going to get real sweaty because I'm telling you, I was playing the computer on normal. And they have like spicy and like extra spice. I hadn't even touched those levels yet, but I promise you it's going to be freaking difficult. And as for the skins, it looks well, it plays well. With these sort of videos that I'm starting to do, I guess the main question is, is Kirby Dreams Buffet worth it? Is it worth the $15? My answer is hell yes. Absolutely treat yourself. See what I did there? Treat yourself to this game. I think you're going to have a good time. So I want to hear from you. Have you played the game yet? Do you plan on getting the game? Talk to me down in the comments below. Let me know your thoughts. If you liked it, or if you hated it for whatever reason, Anyway, that's enough for me, man. I just want to give you like a real quick video of some gameplay uh, as quick as I could. But this is a good time and um, I hope you enjoy it. And until next time, check out this Nintendo Switch tier list 2022 video that I put here on the screen. I don't know how YouTube's going to do me, but it's here. So please click it. I, I worked so hard on it. <laughs> and Luigi's Mansion is the best game ever.